Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the movie Spaceballs. This was another subscriber requested movie review from Harold Frederick G8C. So let's get right into it. Spaceballs was released on June 24th, 1987. It is a space opera comedy movie that has an average grade of a B minus on cinema score. A 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb, and a 52% on Rotten Tomatoes. The movie had a $22.7 million budget and made $38.1 million at the box office. It was directed by the legendary Mel Brooks. And since its release, it has a huge cult following. And this is a parody space opera comedy. In this movie, it stars Bill Pullman, John Candy, Daphne Zaninga, Mel Brooks, Rick Moranis, and Joan Rivers. And this is parodying several movies, most notably the original Star Wars trilogy, Star Trek, Alien, The Wizard of Oz, uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Planet of the Apes, and Transformers, amongst other movies. In this movie... We have Princess Vespa, played by Daphne Zuniga, who is a princess who's going to be getting married to someone she's not interested in. She ends up walking away from the marriage, takes off with Dot Matrix, who is voiced by Joan Rivers, who is supposed to be um, C-3PO. Um, and she takes off. And so her father, King Roland, hires Lone Star and Barf, played by Bill Pullman and John Candy, uh, respectfully. And so they are tasked with um, getting her and bringing her back. They end up running into Spaceballs. Um, and their leader, you have President Scrooge, played by Mel Brooks. You have Lord Helmet, or Dark Helmet, played by Rick Moranis who's supposed to be Darth Vader. And then he ends up taking her ship, but she's gone. And so he goes off. He has this, uh, a ring of the Schwartz, but there's two sides, of course, the dark side. And, you know, you've seen Star Wars. Uh, but Mel Brooks plays two roles in this movie, President Scrooge, and he plays Yogurt. It's supposed to be Yoda. Which is really funny. Uh, John Candy plays Barf. He is a mog. He's a half man, half dog. He's his own best friend. <laughs> but this movie is a hilarious take on those movies I mentioned. And I absolutely love, love this movie. It didn't get a lot of high praise from some critics. Uh, Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave it two and a half out of four stars. But his buddy, Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune, gave it three out of four stars. So a lot of people were split on this movie. And it didn't make as much movie, uh, much movie, much money as it was expected to. And there were plans for a sequel for this movie. But it never came it never came through, and but I absolutely love this movie. I love the characters. I love the story. Mel Brooks is a genius when it comes to parodies, and uh, this is just another one of his hidden gems. Uh, I, like I said, my well, my favorite character is um, Barf, played by John Candy. Uh, but they're they're all fantastic. I. Uh, there's certain scenes in this movie that I absolutely love. The combing the desert scene is fantastic. Um, you have the um, uh, the Mega Maid scene where the ship turns into um, um, a maid with a vacuum. Uh, and in this movie... Dark Helmet and President Scrooge are trying to take the air from Planet Juridia. 
And so they use this vacuum. And you, that scene where they're sucking up all the air and everything is just hilarious. Uh, but eventually, uh, Yogurt reveals to Lone Star that the thing around his neck uh, reveals that he is actually a prince. And so at the end of the movie, we get them to uh, married uh, Princess Vespa and Lone Star, which is great. And then uh, there's a scene in this movie where Barf and Lone Star are at uh, a diner. And the gentleman from Alien uh, is in the movie where the alien pops out of his stomach. But in this scene, the uh, little creature pops out and starts doing a little song and dance. That's another favorite scene of mine. But there, there's so many in this movie. And I, I, I don't know how people cannot laugh and have a great time with this movie. I absolutely love it. It gets a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up for me. So in the comment section below, if you've seen the movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you like this review, hit that like button. But thanks for watching. And check out Harold Frederick GAC's uh, channel as well. But keep those um, requests coming. And I will get to them as soon as I can. And again, if I haven't seen the movie or TV show, then it's going to be a while before I get to it. But I thank you guys for watching. Share these videos on your social media as you see fit to. And I'll see you in the next one.